107th Le Classique between Marseille and Paris Saint-Germain. OM defending an unbeaten home record in the league this season. Is she unbeaten in 20 on the road? And then Baraldo sent off after a VAR review. Brazilian international showing what he thought of that. And yet Paris improved in the second half. The man disadvantage. Vitinha exchanging with Usain Dembele. And a magnificent seventh goal of the season. And the ever improving Portuguese international. Donnarumma was near unbeatable. He did see his net bulge once. But Luis Enrique flagged offside. And then from a late corner, the strike broke kindly to Piaschi. Ashraf Hakimi linking with Marco Asensio. Gonzalo Ramos who came on for Kylian Mbappe. The Portuguese international bringing out the port. He scored a double at the back, a third Le Classic goal and a 50th win in the fixture for PSG. Well, Brest travelled to Lorient. The first encounter between the sides finished 4-0 with Kamari Dumbia scoring all of them. Lorient a different proposition this time. Adradine Bunani seeing his deflected effort brilliantly saved. Marco Bizot. There was penalty drama. Lorient still have not been awarded one all season. But Julian Bonso should have given them the lead. But after brilliant work, struck the post. The well, Merlu fans happy. And then they would have been shaking their heads as their own team blew a casket. And Roma del Castillo ended. A week that saw him become a father on a high. Bress with a snatching grab and all three points. That's only after a fine late save. Bizot showing exactly why they have the best defence in the division. Well, Mess were looking in trouble before kickoff. They were looking down and out just 16 minutes into this one. This was just the first of three. Takumi Minamino with his seventh of the season on the spin. Just six minutes later, somehow it became a two on one. Taking it for a walk, Magnus Akliush using Wissa Banyeda as the decoy. And he tucked in to the net pass Alexander Okija, the 22 year old's sixth of the season. And that was soon followed by Vanderson, picked out by Alexander Gullivan, and just steering it to the far corner for three. He was denied the first chance of the match, not this time. And then a horror moment, Alexander Okija trying to be a baller, but just wanting the ground to eat him up. Fuller and Balogun reading the madness, netting for 4-0. Then some respectability returned. Teenagers on the score sheet. First up, Pape Amadou Diallo. Well placed ahead of Anderson to net. Senegalese. Then looking on, Zibu Sani repeated the trick. Lines of Taranga. Always a heavy presence for Mess. They turned out, of course, to be mere consolations. Balogun at the double. Monaco remain on the podium. Led it to Grova with the touch, the class, and the finish to give Leo the lead in the Derby du Nord. Lons. Long suffering international break, having lost prior to it at Nice. And now up against a rampant rival in Lille as Agrova's second was even easier. 
Great work from Gabriel Gudmundsson. And when Brice Samba poked out a foot, it was the Kosovan international who tucked it away. Eli Wai was a surprise. Place on the bench with Wesley Saeed starting ahead of him. The former Montpellier striker came on to bring life into the match. But it proved to be too little, too late. Lille now very much within sight of the podium. Well, Nantes sacked Josan Govenek. It was Anton Kunwari who returned to the scene of his previous job. And he looked on as Matisse Abeline rose highest to head Nantes in front of the Allianz Riviera. A stunning header and a stunned Nice. Les Aiglons with just 29% of their games against Nantes ending in victory, but they at least had a route back to level terms. Levin Kissan bundled over, Terry Muffy down the middle. Ten for the season for the Nigerian, and three in his last two appearances. Yet it was a tale of penalties. Abeline on just his sixth start was on a mission. Barged over after leaving Jordan Latomba in a spin. Upstep Mustafa Mohamed. A brilliant win for Kumbwari on his return, not rediscovering their flight. Well, Strasbourg have had the worst form of 2024, facing Rennes with the best since January. And yet it was Racing who finally raced into the lead. Late in the affair, Marvin Sanaya, 71 minutes, his first top flight goal. Ren looked for a way back, but they were caught out on the break. Substitute Jeremy Sivas, just 20 years old. The Martinique striker already with two. In Liga Uber Eats, after snatching a late draw at Marseille, clinching victory this time around. Rocco Tantoliso drafted into central defence for Lyon. Certainly did seem to be causing trouble. Yunus Abdelhamid with the initial header off the post. In the end, a first Liga Uber Eats goal for Joseph. Okumu. But Leon hit back. Substitutes delivery. A fellow subs equaliser. Ernest Nuama diving low to knock in Ben Ramas. Fine centre. But then what a save this was. Anthony Lopez earning a point from Amir Richardson's brilliant effort. Clermont are looking pretty forlorn at the bottom of the table. Maximilian Coffier cutting down Thais Dallinger just six minutes in. Vincent Sierro with doing the rest. A fourth spot kick successfully dealt with. To lose two wins in the first half of the season, he'd already managed five in 2024 before this afternoon clash. They were very much on their way to an eighth success of the season. And pulling themselves out of the relegation fight. Dallinger onto Franck Magri's centre. And then Vincent Sierro finally scored from open play. It was worth waiting for. One, two, three. Knockout blow for Clermont. TFSA rising. the relegation six-pointer in Normandy. Nav had only lost three times to Montpellier, the 17 previous home clashes. They were going to fall to defeat here. A rare strike for Jordan Ferry, his first of the season, and to find a build-up play. They then doubled their lead soon after, thanks to another unlikely goal scorer, Christopher Julian, on as a substitute, and scoring to seal 
a second win in three, as many as they'd managed in the previous 15. So 25 goals across nine matches in week 27, a triumphant return for Conguare at the Canaries as they conquered the Eagles. The top two lost a man, but not the points. That means PSG back to 12 points clear with a classic performance. Rest back above Monaco, the Principality Club with Lille though breathing down their necks. Clermont certainly looked down and out. Mess only marginally better. A huge win for Nantes. Sees La Havre and Lorient slip down. The latter in the relegation playoff position. Cup action in midweek, but we return with Lille hosting a wounded Marseille. The top two face the bottom two, and Sunday night will test Nantes' revival when they host Lyon. <laughs>